What's up guys, this is Sunny, back with another video. Today, real quick, I'm making this video because I want to clear something. I made a video about Ryzen uh, 3rd Gen 3 series CPU video yesterday, basically giving you guys my thoughts, what I think, and what which one you should buy. Now, today I'm making this video basically telling you guys the main difference between the Ryzen 3 3100 and Ryzen 3 3300X and why Ryzen 3 3100 you can pick up for $99 and why Ryzen 3 3300X you need to pay $120. That $20 makes huge difference, almost 20% performance difference. So that's why I want to explain you guys what's the difference and which CPU you should buy if you're only planning on gaming with the CPU and you want like the best of the best. So before we start, I want to explain you guys what is CCD and CCX. So CCD is CPU uh, chiplet die and inside the uh, CCD you will find CCX. So CCX is CPU uh, complex or uh, core complex. So you guys can see here uh, with Ryzen 3 3100 we are using uh, two CCX. We are dividing our core, our threads, our uh, L3 cache. Okay, and with Ryzen 3 uh, 3300X, uh, we do have a two seven nanometer. Both of these uh, CPU have uh, seven nanometer uh, CCX. Now we're only utilizing one CCX. Okay, so we have our four core, eight thread, 16 MB L3 cache in one CCX. Okay, so that's the main difference. So let's read this. The Ryzen 3 3100 and Ryzen 3 3300X are not merely clocked differently. Okay, even you overclock the Ryzen 3 3100 to, uh, let's put it this way, Ryzen 3 3300X uh, core clock. Okay, let's put this way, 4.3 gigahertz, 4.3 gigahertz. You will still not going to get the same performance of the Ryzen 3 3300 because these are clocked differently the IPC is different also okay the performance will be different okay so don't just think if you can just buy AMD Ryzen 3 3100 and you can overclock and you can get the same performance of the Ryzen 3 uh, 3300X no it's not going to happen you will have latency problem that's why you are not going to get the same performance of the Ryzen 3 3300X now they feature a different configuration within the CCD. So inside the CCD, you guys can see Ryzen 3 is using one seven nanometer CCX, and inside the Ryzen 3 3100, uh, the, inside the CCD, we are using a two seven nanometer CCX. That's when the latency problem comes. Okay, while gaming, you will see uh, the difference. Now. Um, here, where the Ryzen 3 3100 is 2 plus 2 configuration with two active cores per CCX. So, what basically uh, saying here, uh, Ryzen 3 3100 using two CCX. Okay, so that's 2 plus 2. We are dividing our cores, we're dividing our threads, we are dividing our L3 cache. Okay. Now, uh, Ryzen 3 3300X is a 4 plus 0. So, uh, Ryzen 3 3300X uh, using 1 7 nanometer CCX. So, we are not dividing anything. We have 4 cores, 8 thread, 16 MB L3 cache in 1 CCX. We have 2 CCX here, but we are only using 1 CCX. So with all four active cores on the same CCX, so right there. So let's read this part right here. With all four cores and 16 MB of cache on one CCX, the Ryzen 3 3300X benefits from less core to core latency than the Ryzen 3 3100. So the latency, of course, is still there with the Ryzen 3 3300X, but just cause Ryzen 3 3300X using one CCX and have all the cores and thread and the 16 MB L3 cache in one CCX. So your performance will be way better because you have less latency to worry about and 
your gaming performance like let's take gaming as an example like if you compare both of these cpu side to side and you uh, benchmark the cpu uh your ryzen 3 3300 x will have better gaming performance at least 20 percent more a uh, better gaming performance compared to ryzen 3 3100 because ryzen 3 3100 using two ccx so basically dividing the cores the thread and the main part the main difference makes uh, like a huge difference when you are dividing this uh l3 cache so that's why ryzen 3 3300x have better uh gaming performance uh because this cpu is using one ccx and the latency is less compared to ryzen 3 3100 so that's why overall ryzen 3 3300x is a better cpu okay it will perform better while gaming and if you are only buying a cpu for gaming then ryzen 3 3300x definitely a great cpu this cpu will give intel uh Core i7 7700K run for its money, okay? And uh, Intel Core i7 was going for around $350 and this CPU you can pick up for only $120. So this thing right here is golden, okay? Now, as you guys know, guys, both of these CPUs have only 65 watt TDP. The Ryzen 3 3100, a base clock is 3.6 gigahertz and the boost clock is 3.8 gigahertz. Ryzen 3 3300X, a base clock is 3.8 gigahertz and will boost up to 4.3 gigahertz. So guys, today real quick, uh, I made this video so I can explain you guys the main difference because I didn't tell you guys yesterday when I made the uh, last video. So I'm really sorry, but now you know what's the main difference and which CPU you should buy. Both of these CPUs are great, okay, for gaming, okay. I'm not trying to say Ryzen 3 3100 is a worse CPU or Ryzen 3 3300 is the best, best CPU. It depends on your budget. If you are not willing to spend that extra $20, then you can go with Ryzen 3 3100. But if you do spend that extra $20, you are getting 20% more performance so basically it's up to you guys so stay tuned for gaming pc build and hack and touch build will definitely stress the hell out of this cpu will overclock we'll have some fun with the cpu but i have to order this cpu after may 21st because uh at this very moment i don't have the cpu or i can't even get this cpu so stay tuned if you're watching me for the first time please subscribe to this channel like this video uh, and share your thoughts and let me know what you guys think and hopefully i did explain you guys uh, better this time and if I did make any mistakes mistake please leave your comment in the comment section and tell me uh, what I didn't uh, mention here all right guys see you guys next one peace